2019 has been a great year. In fact, we're looking forward to at the end of a decade, which is pretty insane when you think about it. But 2019 has been a great year for sneakers, for Nike, for Jordan brand. And uh, I can't wait to see what 2020 brings. So let's hop into the video. What's up guys, it's your boy Miyagi Got Kicks. Today we're gonna to be doing the top 10 most anticipated Jordan releases of 2020. So coming in at number 10, we have the Air Jordan 6 DMP. This Air Jordan 6 released back in 2006 alongside the Air Jordan 11 as part of the Defiant Moments pack, what we like to call it the DMP. This DMP was created to honor Michael Jordan's two 3P championships that he won back in 1991 and 1996. This shoe comes dressed in an all black colorway with black mustard covering the shoe with hints of gold on the midsole and on the back pull tab. And I'm also hearing on certain websites that this shoe is going to release in its original packaging and there's original accessories like the gold dog tag. This shoe, personally, I never owned and I'm actually looking forward to copping this shoe. And if you're looking forward to copping this shoe, this shoe releases January 25th, 2020 for 200 bucks. So coming in at number nine, we have the Air Jordan 13 Flint. The Flint 13s released back in 1998 and had a re-retro in 2005 and in 2010. And even though we were supposed to get a rumor release back in 2017, it just never happened. But it looks like Jordan Brand is actually re-releasing this shoe in 2020. Unlike the last two Flint 13s that we had back in 2005 and 10, it looks like the 2020 pair is supposed to mimic the 1998 pair, which is pretty dope in my opinion. The shoe comes dressed in a white, blue, and gray colorway. And uh, to me, this is actually the most wearable 13s in my opinion. It's not really on my radar to cop this shoe, but it looks like everybody is anticipating this shoe release. And this shoe is rumored to release sometime during April of 2020 for 200 bucks. But I don't know if this is actual, if this is an actual release for this shoe, because remember, we were supposed to get this shoe back in 2017. So until Jordan announces this shoe, it's just gonna stay a rumor. Coming in at number eight, we have the Air Jordan 1 Pine Green. I know we just had a Jordan 1 release nicknamed the Pine Green, but this shoe is actually supposed to mimic that nickname just a little bit differently. Instead of it being in the bread toe color blocking that the last Pine Greens had, this shoe is actually supposed to mimic a Jordan 1 bread color blocking. This shoe comes dressed with a primarily black upper with green hitting the heel, swoosh, and toe. But however, there are some slight differences from this shoe that separates from being a bread shadow or royal that we've been getting for the last few years. And that is a leather pull tag on top of the tongue with the Nike branding in red. And also the Wings logo, instead of it being debossed and ink filled, it's just a black patch. These two changes to me personally doesn't bother me. I'm still going to cop this shoe. And I'm hearing a lot of people is not going to cop this shoe because of these changes. And if you're looking to cop this shoe, this shoe releases Leap Year Day, February 29th for a real high price of 170 bucks. So coming in at number seven, we have the Air Jordan 5, 69 points. Originally released in 1990, the 2020 Air Jordan Retro 5 is going to celebrate his 30th anniversary of the day Michael Jordan scored 69 points against the Cleveland Cavaliers, which is pretty dope in my opinion. Your shoe is going to come dressed in an all white leather with fire red on the accents and black on the midsole and a 3M reflective tongue. And they're actually releasing this shoe in its OG form with the Nike Air on the back, which is pretty dope. And uh, I'm pretty happy that Jordan Brand is actually celebrating this shoe in its 30th anniversary. And if you're looking to cop this shoe, this shoe is going to release March 25th for 200 bucks. So coming in at number six, we have the Air Jordan 3 UNC. This shoe started out very limited to friends and families only for the UNC Tar Heels when Michael Jordan used to play in his college day. But however, the shoe we're getting in 2020 will not feature any UNC branding. So to be fair, this is not a UNC 3, it's just a baby blue 3. This shoe comes dressed in an all white leather with baby blue accents and elephant print on the toe and the heel. And I'm hearing rumors that this shoe is actually supposed to release with the Nike Air branding. This shoe is definitely on my list to cop. And if you're looking to cop this shoe, this shoe releases March 7th, 2020 for 190 bucks. Coming in at number five, we have the Air Jordan 5 Reverse Grapes. The Air Jordan 5 Grapes debuted back in 1990 and it was followed by a black grape in 2013 and a pre-grape in 2015. And we also had the most recent Fresh Prince version in 2018. But it looks like for 2020, Jordan Brand is going to take the grape color scheme and do something totally different. The shoe is supposed to feature an all suede purple upper with new emerald and black accents on top of an icy outsole. And this shoe is actually on my list to cop. I'm definitely, definitely going to cop this shoe. 
I'm hearing the rumor release date for this shoe is supposed to be sometime during summer of 2020, but I have yet to see a price or see a date yet. So I'm actually waiting for Jordan Brand to actually announce this shoe. So keep on the lookout. So coming in at number four, we have the Air Jordan 4 Black Cat. Released back in 2006, it looks like Jordan Brand will re-release the Air Jordan 4 Black Cat in the early months of 2020. The shoe comes dressed in an all black and gray color scheme with black mostly hitting everything on the shoe. And to me, this shoe is definitely top top on my list to cop. And uh, I'm very happy that Jordan Brand is actually re-releasing this shoe because it's been a while since we had this shoe re-retro. And um, to me, I'm a huge fan of the Jordan 4. It's actually my second favorite silhouette. And I'm happy that this is the Jordan 4 that's coming out for 2020. And if you're looking to cop this shoe, this shoe releases February 22nd, 2020 for 200 bucks. So coming in at number three, we have the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. Rumored to be canceled, it's just a rumor guys. I'm just going off, I'm reading certain stories that saying that this shoe is canceled, but it's only a rumor. So I'm just giving you my details on what I'm hearing so far about this shoe. So the shoe is supposed to be releasing sometime during the NBA All-Star Weekend that is hosted in Chicago. The shoe is expected to have a varsity red, white, and black color combination. But the difference of this shoe is it's actually releasing in its 1985 form. So that means that this shoe is actually going to have the high cut with the low wings logo on the side, the big Nike check. And um, I'm pretty excited for this shoe. I'm praying that it's not canceled. So I could definitely get my hands on this shoe. I never owned a Chicago one and I definitely, definitely need this shoe for my collection. And the thing I really, really most likely about this shoe that is actually releasing in its vintage form. So that to me is, is crazy. And this shoe is highly, highly, highly anticipated. So the rumor release for this shoe is sometime mid February, like during the All-Star weekend. And I'm hearing that it's going to have a high price of 175 bucks. So coming in at number two, we have the woman exclusive Air Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago. The color scheme of this sneaker is similar to the patent leather Fearless Jordan 1s that just released this year. And to be honest, I like this shoe just a little bit better. The shoe is supposed to come dressed in the top three vibrable form. And the best part about this shoe is it's going to be all tumble leather. The shoe comes dressed in an all black with baby blue on the heel swooch. And we're going to have a red toe and a red outsole. But the only downside to the shoe is, it's a woman exclusive. So if you wear past a size 11, you're out of luck. And if you're looking to cop this shoe, the shoe releases Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2020, for a really high price of 170 bucks. So coming in at number one is the Air Jordan 1 Air Shit. It looks like Jordan Band is gonna be celebrating Michael Jordan earliest years on the floor. This shoe is expected to have two shoes, a 1984 PE that Michael Jordan wore as a rookie and the actual 1985 pair. But the most important shoe of this pack to me is the 1984 pair because this is actually the real shoe that got banned from the NBA. So basically the 1984 PE that Michael Jordan wore, they made it in a black and red colorway. And that's the shoe that actually got banned. But it looks like the people who made the shoe for Michael Jordan didn't really like the design of the shoe and they threw it away. And then they just ran with the black and red 1985 pair. And to me, this release has a lot, a lot of story to it. And I can't wait for Jordan to announce the actual release of the shoe. The shoe is rumored to release sometime during February of the NBA All-Star Weekend for a high price of 350 bucks. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top 10 most anticipated Jordan releases of 2020. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments, and uh, I'll check you guys on the next video. Peace.